Uh, today we are going to be learning to draw using a ballpoint pen. Just a regular ballpoint pen, whatever you have at home will do the job. Um, today I'm going to be using uh, this one, it's called a Bic Atlantis. It works pretty well, but sometimes it can let out a little too much ink, so if you have a regular Bic pen, that's even better. Um, we're going to be drawing a castle on the moon today. So it's a pretty simple drawing, but because we're using a ballpoint pen, we're going to be able to get some really neat texture and uh, it'll make our drawing look really cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is because drawing with a ballpoint pen can be kind of tricky, we're going to just do a value scale uh, using the pen. So on your paper, just start by drawing a box. It doesn't need to be even, doesn't need to be perfect, and we're just going to divide it into five sections. So starting on this side, we're going to do our dark all the way to the lightest. So in our dark section, this is where we're going to be pressing as hard as we can with our pen, and we're going to fill up uh, just the middle section of, of this area. Just so we can see how dark our pen can get, we're going to try and cover with no white space in the middle. We want to make sure it's nice and consistent and as dark as we can possibly get it. So I think that looks pretty good. Uh, the next one we're going to go up and we're just going to try and make it a little bit lighter, but not too light because we still have a lot of room to move. So I'm going to take a little bit of pressure off but I'm going to keep trying to get it nice and consistent going over areas if they're not quite dark enough. With ballpoint pen it's always best to be lighter rather than darker because you can always layer it whereas you can't lift up anything because it's not erasable like a pencil. So if you go too dark there's no going back. So there's our medium. Uh, we're going to try our middle one now. So even lighter than the medium. Lifting up the pressure. We still want consistency. And I see some white space so I'm going to go back over top of it there. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to do our second lightest. So this one we're really easing off the pressure. You can slow down if you need to. And I'm almost doing wispy strokes. I'm not sort of starting and stopping very obviously. I'm doing wispy strokes. And that helps take some of the pressure off of the pen as well. So there's our second lightest and we're gonna do our lightest. Our lightest won't be zero. It won't be nothing all white. Um, but there will be areas in the drawing where we're going to leave the paper white. But we don't really need to draw that in the box. There we go. So there's our lightest. Now that we've done our value scale, what I want you to do is uh, try blending. So we're gonna start by drawing our darkest here. And then without sort of separating and doing it in a separate box, we're going to ease off into our medium. And then into our second darkest or third darkest and then our second lightest and then into the lightest. Okay so now that we're ready to get started on our drawing we're going to get a nice blank piece of paper. I'm going to keep my value scale right beside me. I just got it sort of above my paper so I can see it uh, and that's going to help me remind myself of the lightest and darkest areas how to do that with the pencil or pen, sorry. And um, I can also use this paper here. Sometimes the pens get a little bit blotchy at the end, so you just need to do a little, I'll show you, just a little twist of your pen to kind of get that extra ink off of there. So if you're finding your pen is blotching a lot, just do that a few times on your extra piece of paper. Okay, so to do our sketch, uh, I'm going to use just a regular pencil. I'm going to go as light as I can for this, um, but because I'm using pencil, it'll be nice and easy to erase later. 
So the image that we're going to do is sort of a crescent moon with a castle sitting in the center of it. So I'm going to start by drawing my moon. I'm going to draw a full circle actually because it makes it a lot easier. If you start with a circle and just erase after. So once you are happy with your circle, I'm going to erase the areas I don't want to use. Erase the lines I don't want to use. And next I'm going to draw the inside of the moon. Once we're happy with that, we're going to just draw in our castle. So for a castle like this, uh, it's going to be very simple lines. Um, we're going to do stone walls on the castle and it's going to sort of sit right in here on the moon and then kind of go up into the space and I'm going to do a couple trees over here as well. So for our castle, um, we do want to focus a little bit on perspective. So when I draw my castle in here, this is sort of my starting line. I'm going to do one of the towers and I'm going to make sure that I'm paying attention to the perspective of this line here for that tower and that one here. And I'm going to use this as a reference for all of my other towers that I'm going to do. So when I'm doing any other lines, I'm following the angle of this one right here and this one here so that those match and it ends up looking a little bit less skewed. So at this point we finished the castle. It's pretty simple. Um, as we start drawing with the ballpoint pen, it's going to start to look a little more interesting. We just want to get the main sketch in there so that it makes sense. Uh, next I'm just going to put in the trees here.
So now we've got our trees. Uh, what I'm going to do next is just work out a little bit of the ground around where the castle is meeting the moon. We want to add some rocks and some different textures there just so it kind of disguises it so it doesn't look like it's just placed on top. Okay, so now we've got that part. Uh, the next part we're gonna do is draw a little bit more detail on the side of the moon. There's a few shading things that we're gonna need to do, including craters and, uh, and sort of along this edge here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just sort of start here, make sure we got a really nice sort of end point for this one, sort of a rounded end. And then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to just draw this sort of jagged line that kind of goes to and from the edge of the moon. And this is going to just make it kind of look more like it's broken. And it'll add some cool texture to it. We're going to go all the way down to here. We're going to stop once we get there. And then make sure around the trees it has that same texture all the way up into here. And I'm not going to do it around the outside, just the inside portion. Next, I'm going to start here again, and I'm going to do a little bit more of the same thing on the outside of that. But I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm just going to remind myself that this part is going to be extra dark. So I'm going to color that in a little bit. That just helps me remember when I'm working with the pen that I need to make that extra dark. I'm going to do the same thing down here. And then I'm going to stop once I get to the castle because this part here is sort of what we're seeing from the other side. It's the inside of this broken piece of moon. So down here the castle would be between here and this piece here. So that's going to help add some depth to our moon. Okay, um, next thing I'm going to do is just map out a few of my craters. So craters on the moon, some are big, some are small, um, and they're not all right in the center. They're going to go to the edge as well. So I'm just going to draw some circles throughout here. I want a few that are nice and big. So it's going to look really cool. Last thing I'm going to add is a little cloud here as well, just to kind of balance the image out a little bit. two different things we're going to be doing with it. So the first one will be outlining and that's essentially where we are just taking our pen and drawing around different things. Okay and that'll be nice and dark just like as if you were writing with your pen. Uh, but we want to make sure we're not outlining everything. So the things that I'm going to outline are the hard surfaces. So when we think of hard surfaces we think of tables or pieces of wood or in this case uh, the edges of the castle are going to be my hard surfaces. So I'm going to outline the whole castle, including the windows, the flags, the roof, uh, all the doors and that, and then I'm, but I'm not going to outline this line here along the edge of the moon. Not yet. I may do that later, but we'll see how it goes when we get there. As I'm outlining the castle, I'm also going to add some stone marks. So the way I like to add stone marks is we're not going to sit and draw bricks all the way down the side of the castle because that's just going to look too busy. It's not going to leave anything to the imagination. So instead, what we're going to do 
with our castle edge there. We're gonna draw hints of it. So just little pieces that kind of look like glimpses of stone. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that in. That's also an outline line. So I'm gonna do that at this point now. Okay, so I've finished my outlining and I've added my bricks in here and now what I'm doing is I am shading this is my light source here it's coming out from this angle so I'm going to be shading this side of the castle so I started by doing it sort of looking at our value chart we're looking at the lightest and the second lightest and we're going nice and, and light with that and we're being very wispy. We don't want to do two dark lines. We want to layer it instead because otherwise it's going to get too dark too fast. we finish sort of the more obvious areas we're going to be shading the sides of these towers and a little bit on the front aspects of it as well we are going to move on to shading our moon. So before I was talking about uh, outline versus shading. So we've done both here and with our castle sort of outlined and shaded, it looks pretty neat. Uh, with the moon, we wanna be a little bit less outline, a little more shading. So I'm gonna start by, uh, remember this area here that we shaded extra dark with the pencil? I'm gonna start by doing that. So I'm gonna outline that and then I'm gonna color it in so it's nice and dark with our darkest value of pen.
Now that we've done the trees, the next thing I'm going to do is start working on the craters. The craters are going to be kind of neat because we're going to shape them and shade them and then work out from there to fill in all of this other white space. Uh, and then that will bring us to this edge here, which we don't necessarily want to outline because it'll be a bit too harsh. And uh, we're also going to be paying attention to this light, so light source for where we're going to be shading as well.
last part that we're going to do on the moon is just finishing up the shadows here on the bottom and remembering to go dark on the bottom, light on the top. Last thing we need to do is work on that cloud. So I'm going to keep the cloud really nice and light and nice and sketchy. We want it to look fluffy. I'm going to change the shape of it a little bit while I'm working on this. We're just adding some sort of fluffs on the inside. There we go. Erase the last little bits of pencil that you can find anywhere. Make sure not to smudge the ink. Erase your light source because the viewer does not need to see that. Smudged a little bit, so maybe wait a little longer for yours to dry first. So there's our final product. If you follow along with this drawing and you want to post yours just so everyone can see it, um, if you post it on Instagram or Facebook and just hashtag Langley Centennial Museum, 